Whenever you change your blade, you need to adjust the tracking. Tracking adjusts where the blade sits on the wheel. Because the wheel is crowned, we need to pay attention to where the blade sits. It should sit roughly in the center, but the most important thing is, especially with a wide blade like this one, you need to make sure that your teeth are inside the tire. The teeth on this blade aren't quite within the tire because I haven't actually adjusted the tracking on this blade properly yet. The blade is stable on the wheel if I turn it because the tracking is still in adjustment more or less from the previous blade, but that doesn't mean that I can just leave it sitting where it is. The tracking adjustment, as it always is, is at the back here. Just loosen off your wing nut, slowly turn the wheel whilst making your tracking adjustment until the blade is essentially in the centre of the wheel. With a three quarter inch blade like this, you might want to go a little more towards the back, right about there. Okay, so now that that is adjusted correctly on the wheel, we want to lock off the wing nut. Now that that's all locked off, you can close your cabinet. With the tracking adjustment done, you just need to check the alignment of your guide and thrust bearings. Even if they've been in adjustment before, every time you change the blade, you need to make sure that they are running through cleanly. Every blade will track and run a little bit differently through the guide bearings, so you do need to readjust them every time you change the blade.